Colorado, just east of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, we're also getting uh, some reports of some pretty strong winds up towards the Denver area. Uh, current wind gusts right now clocking at about 50 to 60 miles per hour. Uh, looks like we've got a little bit of wind shear as well, which may be causing some problems for Denver International Airport in terms of, uh, you know, planes coming in, trying to land. Currently, it looks like they've got uh, just over 100 delays or cancellations in the region right now. Um, and so that uh, could be a problem into tonight as those winds continue to stay a little breezy across the region and uh, certainly a little stronger up towards the Palmer Divide in eastern uh, Arapahoe County. Notice the radar satellite here showing those showers and thunderstorms working across the region. Uh, the front will continue to make its journey south overnight tonight. We are going to expect those winds to stay breezy, especially across the eastern plains as the cold front continues to move through. Uh, as we kind of take you through the forecast model, you'll notice that we are expecting that final push of cold air to move across the eastern plains late this evening. And as that happens, we will start to see another round of a few snow showers across northern El Paso County, south central Douglas County. Uh, that will be a round of snow that will accumulate on grassy surfaces, just be kind of a wet, sloppy snow, uh, really not expecting much. And most of this clears out before midnight tonight, but it will be breezy and brisk as you wake up tomorrow morning with temperatures starting off in the 20s and 30s, but we will have a little bit of sunshine as you'll notice here by the afternoon tomorrow. We get another little push of moisture coming in across El Paso County and Douglas County with a few isolated flurries across the region, but really not amounting to much at all. Temperatures will be a lot cooler into the 30s and 40s for the Pikes Peak region, 55 in Canyon City and 58 in Pueblo, and we will be nearing the 60 degree mark across the eastern plains. Friday is a little bit of a rinse and repeat setup where we start off with a little bit of sunshine. Snow showers will be widespread for the foothills west of Denver and up into the high country. Then we'll start to see that second push of moisture coming across eastern Arapahoe County, parts of Douglas County and areas into northern El Paso County. As some of these little showers and storms try to clip the northeastern sections of El Paso County between 4 and 7 p.m. on Friday. But again, most of the measurable precipitation will stay up across the Denver area and points north into the Dakotas and even the upper Midwest of uh, parts of Montana. So Friday temperatures a lot cooler. Uh, we will be in the 40s through the first part of the weekend and then that warming trend does make a comeback by Sunday as we bounce back into the 50s and then we'll be even warmer for Monday of next week as we inch near the 60 degree mark for Woodland Park and for monuments. We do look for more widespread showers and thunderstorms to return by Monday afternoon and Tuesday afternoon of next week. Otherwise, it is looking rather dry for us for the next couple of days. We've got a chance for a few rain and snow showers late Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Otherwise, it is looking like a fairly quiet forecast for the weekend. Pueblo in the upper 50s tomorrow. Still a lot of blowing dust, yielding hazy skies because of these gusty winds that will stay in place across the region. And that will also keep us under that threat for high fire danger. We are looking, though, at a nice, cool end to the work week. Notice how I said nice. I'm trying to put a positive spin on it. So it will be a little brisk and chilly by Friday. Stay with us. We'll break back. I 